In this next video clip, I'm going to show you how to take your orthographic drawing and turn it into the isometric assembled, isometric that is, bridge. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go find my isometric tutorial just in case I need to refer to it at any given time throughout the time that I work on this. So the isometric tutorial is right here. It says Bridge SketchUp ISO Tutorial. Click on that, open it up. Once again, save it if you want to save it to your H drive or to your student drive so that you have access to it um, and refer to it at any given time. I'm going to minimize that for now. I'm going to go back into the drawing. Now, I have opened the orthographic drawing that I saved in the last video and I'm now going to save over it. So I'm going to save as. This time I'm going to change the ortho to ISO. Hit save. And then I'm going to rotate to ISO. And then from here, all I have to do is use my move tool, click on my move tool, and click on the little plus signs that show up on the side of the truss. So if I zoom in, there are little plus signs that pop up. Click on the plus sign, and a protractor will appear. And then you're going to drag this down 90 degrees. It's a 90 degree angle counterclockwise. Then I'm going to grab the end point in the component because I want to line this end point up with the end point on the top of the deck so I can zoom in to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Line that up, click, and then we can come over to the other side, click on the plus sign that you see for the red protractor, rotate 90 degrees, 90 degrees counterclockwise, click on the end point, drag this up, that's the second side. The last side, which is the top, click on that corner edge, drag it up, and then click when you're satisfied and your bridge is now complete. Last thing that you could do is go into the paint bucket and you can actually change the color or texture for your bridge if you wish to do so. Now that that is finished, I'm going to once again save. So go File, Save, or Control S on the keyboard. And I'm now ready to start the layout tutorial. That is the end of this tutorial.